Hi there. So far, we've introduced you to the brook trout in our local spring-fed cold waterway here in Niagara, 12 Mile Creek. Unfortunately, both are facing a decline in their overall health. In this module, we will cover what water balance is, how humans have affected that balance, and identify the major causes. Let's get to it. Rivers and streams are pretty dynamic. They're constantly changing and evolving and yet maintain a natural balance. Unfortunately, the changes we see in 12 Mile Creek are out of balance and quite extreme. For instance, floodplains are areas of land adjacent to rivers, streams, or creeks that are likely to flood when the water reaches high levels, usually in the spring. The high water levels can spill over creek banks and spread across a broad area, slowing down the movement of water and allowing for sediments to drop and settle. Due to a combination of excessive water flow and the vulnerable soils on the north slopes of the Font Hill Cane, 12 Mile Creek is losing its natural floodplains. Stream channels have eroded and scoured downwards. As they deepen, they disconnect from the floodplain and the sediment buries the rocks and gravel in the stream bed that brook trout need to reproduce. The issues revolving around water balance are pretty complex. Yes, monitoring in 12 Mile Creek indicates that the system has been altered dramatically and is greatly impacted by urban development. With the construction of buildings and roads, surface runoff that's eroding our stream banks becomes considerably greater. When rainfall hits a hard surface, it flows away quickly without being absorbed into the earth. It also doesn't have time to return to the atmosphere through evaporation or to be used by plants for transpiration. Without these natural processes taking up some of the water, most of it finds its way into our urban storm sewers, which then flow into the creek, carrying pollutants like fertilizers, chemicals, pesticides, and metals that have been picked up from the roads and fields with it. And I'm sure to make matters worse, with climate change predicted to increase the frequency and intensity of storm events, the resulting peak runoff will continue to swell. Absolutely. When more than 15% of land area is made up of hard surfaces like asphalt and concrete, a significant deterioration of the watershed occurs. Here on the Font Hill came, the impact of urbanization is magnified further by two factors. The very easily eroded soils and the steep terrain. Greater volumes of water cascading down the steep ridges of the upper 12 Mile Creek have more energy. The loose glacial till of the Font Hill came can't resist the force of the water, and the sand and gravel easily erode to be picked up and carried by the high energy forces. All of this sediment gets deposited further downstream, where the slope is more gradual. That sand and silt begins to blanket the stream bed, burying the natural gravel spawning beds and disrupting the delicate habitat needed for brook trout and other aquatic creatures. When the cool, clear groundwater mixes with large quantities of warmer, often polluted surface water, it all heats up. This coupled with the increased sun exposure through the loss of our tree canopy and dense vegetated buffers along our streams makes for an unfortunate combination of methods that induce stream warming. As we've discussed previously, brook trout are quite sensitive to disturbances and changes in their environment. The slightest increase in temperature, any change in sediment composition of the stream, and any lessening of the clarity and cleanliness of the water greatly affect the health and survivability of brook trout. Cooler water temperatures in the fall used to signal to brook trout when it was time to lay eggs. Now the water remains hotter for longer every year, and before they even know it, it's too late to lay their eggs. And if they do lay their eggs, the temperature of the creek is reaching summer highs beyond the survival level for brookies. But why is this happening? Why is the surface water so warm? First, there are multiple man-made ponds connected to 12 Mile Creek. Exposed to the sun's radiation, the heat in the air transfers to the stagnant water within these ponds adding warmer water to the creeks. Second, dark surfaces like roofs and roads absorb heat energy from the sun during the day and transfer that heat to stormwater runoff after a rainfall. And third, the impact of climate change increasing air temperatures in the future 
could also compound the hot water our brookies are in. But there is hope. Click through the next video to see what can be done to manage the effects of climate change, reduce erosion, reduce water temperatures, and reduce the water volume and velocity in the 12 Mile Creek watershed. <laughs>